Happy first birthday to Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise. This awesome game has been giving people a comprehensive boxing workout for a year now and has had a bunch of cool music updates and accessibility updates, making it much better than it was at release. There are a lot of awesome routines, but I wanted to celebrate this anniversary of the game with some free workout sessions that use the best of what Fitness Boxing 2 has available. There are three workouts, each with different aims, and you can alter the difficulties as needed to suit your taste and ability, but I do have recommended ones. So get your water and towel ready, do a great warm up and let's do some of Fitness Boxing 2's best workout sessions. Jabbing, straights and body blows all use the biceps for additional power and drawback and you can get some amazing workouts for the biceps with Fitness Boxing 2. Starting with straight combo 2 on high intensity regular speed, we warm the arms up effectively. It's important to keep on the ball of your back foot to assist with the hip twists for the straights. Next is beginner combo 2 on low intensity regular speed, it gives us more work on the hips and gives some hook and uppercut moves as well. Intermediate combo 2 on high intensity fast speed really ramps the work up and now you'll be feeling the work on the biceps, make sure to snap back and forth quickly for the jabs. The main session in this one is bicep shape focus combo and we opt for no mercy and regular speed. The quick succession of jabs is tough enough as it is and gives a great way to keep a semi isolated exercise on the bicep. Having practiced the quick movements you should be good with your timing here. Double combo 1 on high intensity regular speed mixes our work up giving some good movement for hips and shoulders before we end on one final combo, intermediate combo 1 low intensity regular speed as a cool down as such. Your arms are going to be really sore after this so make sure you stretch them well. So something that Fitness Boxing 2 does fairly well is footwork and dodging like you would in actual boxing training. Whilst it is by no means perfect, it works quite well to add depth to your workout so we'll focus on some nimble bodywork here. Front back step combo low intensity regular speed is a great way to get into the swing of moving with the Joy-Cons. You may need to jump the Joy-Cons and arc them a little in order to effectively get them to register when you're doing the steps as the detection can be a little rough. Weaving combo 1 on high intensity regular speed works the hips and ankles well with ducks and weaves. This is where it starts to feel like a proper cardio session. We do different types of movements with sway back combo, high intensity fast speed, dodging back but keeping your feet planted, brace your core and bend slightly backwards at the hips with your hands in standard position. The quick successions of jabs and sway backs may be tough at first. Left right step combo on no mercy fast speed is a killer session that feels like a proper cardio workout. The step jabs and twists make a meaty combo but focus on keeping your body upright properly during this. Defensive combo 2 high intensity regular speed is the next session using blocks and ducks and weaves to bring everything together before one final weaving combo 2 on high intensity fast speed to finish the session out. This workout in general highlights all the different moves and footwork available, it gives a really cool session not so dependent on punching. The last playlist uses a lot of excellent bread and butter hook and uppercut combos which flow really well in fitness boxing too. Pay attention to your feet and where your arms are to make sure that you get the best effect from this session. Beginner combo 2 on low intensity regular speed is an effective warm up to get us ready with hooks, uppercuts and jabs before weaving combo 2 on high intensity fast speed really speeds things up. This uses the hips with more flexion rather than rotation which is really useful. The weaves also give a great position to start the hooks. Body hook combo on no mercy regular speed is the first of two no mercy sessions here utilizing mini squats and rising twists with the hooks which requires good core control. The core stability is really important here, more important than getting everything in time so remember that. Body uppercut combo on high intensity fast speed uses similar movements with uppercuts rather than hooks and the faster speed makes a challenge without as much length of time. The next session is advanced combo 2 on no mercy regular speed. This is a really hard session with lots of moves thrown in so pay attention to the combos, do your best and finish it out with a nice easy beginner combo 2 on low intensity fast speed. And that is three free workout sessions showing off some of the best combos and moves that Fitness Boxing 2 has to offer. I use the bicep and footwork ones quite a lot so I hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments what your favourite ones are. As always like, share and subscribe for more Fitness Boxing 2 content on the way. I've been Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you soon.